Across the nation, vaccine sites are reporting lower demand and some vaccine hesitancy. For months now, we've been fielding questions from viewers about the vaccine, clearing up confusion and misinformation. Tonight, Courtney Friedman is answering your questions about whether the vaccine affects fertility. It's one of the vaccine related questions KSAT viewers are asking the most. Can the vaccine affect fertility? The answer from every doctor we've talked to a resounding no. We have some information from the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, um, you know, that's recommending and encouraging women who are contemplating pregnancy to essentially proceed to get the vaccine. Dr. Yutunde Ibrahim says months ago she saw false rumors begin to spread mainly through social media, saying the vaccine caused infertility. My understanding was that this started when some anti-vaxxers actually sent a letter suggesting that the vaccine contained a protein that was very similar to a protein that functions in human placenta. So, you know, this was completely erroneous and wrong information. The vaccine neither contains that protein nor the instructions for your body to fight against it. Still, Dr. Ibrahim is glad to see her fertility patients asking questions so they're informed. The questions I get with regards to that is, are there any particular side effects that they should worry about that could impact their fertility treatment? She said there's no evidence of any negative long-term effects. In fact, she says research is showing the opposite some new data suggesting that, you know, you can actually get some immunity um, from being pregnant and receiving the vaccine and getting it to the actual baby. So that's another benefit to get in the vaccine. She encourages patients to ask questions, saying the right information can relieve the already immense stress that comes with infertility. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.